Hello, my name's Roy Lang. What I want to demonstrate are many of the techniques I use in painting seascapes in oils. The offshore swells that build up into classic breakers as they approach the shallows. The foam bursts, rock spills, foam patterns. How to use light and shadow. Reflections on water and wet rocks and how to combine them all into a really pleasing composition. Going in, breaking up those edges. Want harsh edges on the foam. It is spray. Blending those tones and colours together. Bit of direction going on. Imagine it exploding away from that rock. I'm taking that blue down a little bit further than I intend it to be. And the reason you'll for that you'll see in a moment. With the liner into our pale yellow into blue. Catch the sunlight in this area, glinting on that water. Break it up a little bit. Bring it around the front of the rock to dark. A spray coming around this side. A little cheap brush. Soften that up a bit more. And bring it in front of that rock. Now that rock is looking too solid and plain. What we need are some of the reflections because that rock is wet from previous sprays. So I'm gonna use some of our sky color. Just put some reflections on there. Just dragging that brush down over. Going into the lighter sky color perhaps even some down in that area. And I'll soften that again with a blending brush. Blend that away. And that is that. Before now it's your turn. Get your paints out, have a go. But don't be disappointed if you don't get a complete scene to your satisfaction. I found personally each stage comes in time. Practice and practice again. You might get the light coming through the wave correctly. You might be disappointed with the foam patterns. But in time, it all comes together. Every aspect is like a part of a jigsaw puzzle. Keep looking for reference material. Go down to the sea, photograph it. Better still film it or watch it on television or on DVD. Relax with it, enjoy it. But remember, with oils, you can always cover your mistakes.